DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. Hey friends, welcome to Luchimi David, your host and producer at DevTech Media. This is your number one news channel where news trending videos, political news, gospel music as well as entertainment is concerned. There you go today, I've got an update to give out to the public out there. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah. We are coming, so. Yes. Oh, that's right. What? That's right. 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 That's no, 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 Thank you. Yes, it's right. <laughs> we are happy also to see you. Thank Just you. a short word uh, to the people of Zambia. Yes. Uh, welcome to Zambia once again. Thank you very much for the welcome. I do remember very well that uh, it was on the same soil where we are standing right now when you were uh, denied entry into our country, Zambia, which is uh, possibly six days from now. It was on the 30th of September. That's How do you feel that finally you are here? It's a good thing that I'm in Zambia. I've always held the view that an African should have the right to travel to any part of Africa. It's an unfortunate event, but I'm happy that that has now been resolved and it is in the past. Mm. What should Zambians expect from you as you are about to go and give your public lecture? Not only Zambians, but uh, the African continent at large you, you speak for. Let me, first of all, I think it is in good order to extend my profound gratitude and congratulations to President Hakai. Chilema. I remember on that day when I was reported, it was the very first Zambian to call. We have never met. I do not know how he got my number, but he told me one day we will come back to Zambia. And that day is today. And I hold the view that what Zambians have done in terms of having a peaceful transition is something that ought to be emulated. And I hope that this opportunity will be one that President Kainde Hichilema's administration will use to demonstrate that Africans are capable of resolving their problems and that democracy has a new meaning, new meaning which means that service to the people is the touchstone of service. I look forward to that happening in Zambia. I know that his administration has, has come at a difficult time but it is his duty to demonstrate that out of the wombs of difficulty, he can deliver to the satisfaction of Zambia and Africans. Let's take advantage of uh, the point we've talked about uh, the uh, elections of uh, President Hagen de Hitchlema. Uh, what are some of the lessons that uh, President Hagen de Hitchlema sh should learn from the, uh, should avoid from committing the previous, that possibly the previous administration might have committed? The terrible he, mistakes. Uh, one of the things he should learn is from Julius Kambarage Nyerere of Tanzania mm. that the occupation of the state house of any country is an opportunity to serve your country selflessly and with dedication. There will be detractors, there will be those who want to persuade you to follow the wrong path. It is your duty to remain faithful to the agenda of your party and to follow that path with the delicacy of a sleepwalker. If he listens to those eternal words of Mwalimu Kambarage Nyerere and he serves with humility and he does not remove himself from the people of Zambia, then history will be kind and fair to him. Zambia's democracy so far, would you say it's So boring? far, the jury is out, but there has been consistency. You're one of the few countries in the continent of Africa where sitting heads of states concede defeat without extraordinary persuasion. And your comment on the issue do with, to do with uh, the foreign influence on African continent? What's of course, we'll have occasion to speak about that. I've always said that in the spirit of Afrocracy, it is important that Africa liberates herself from the chains, whether visible or invisible, of the diabolical machinations 
whether from the west or from the east. Easier said than done, but it is our duty, all of us without exception, to liberate ourselves because true and total independence is not merely a national anthem or a national flag or a national motto, but our ability to resolve our problems in health, in agriculture, in all sectors. That is what I look forward to. It is not a journey for the faint-hearted, but it is a war that must be fought intergenerationally. Last time you came to Zambia, uh, you were supposed to talk about uh, Africa's uh, influence, China's influence on Africa. But today you are going to talk about Zambia's democratic blueprint. Is it because of the fact that you are denied entry? Not That's at why all. You are going to focus don't on democracy don't give me the opportunity to dance the main dance before the dance. Allow me to dance the main dance when the dance is declared to be open. <coughs> Thank Let's you. hear from your partner as well, uh, uh, Honorable Kaunda. I know that you've been yearning to host uh, uh, Professor Lumumba. Finally, how do you feel that your mission has been accomplished? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, of course, on behalf of Eden University, we're extremely excited that finally Prof uh, is in. I think this is a good thing for all of us. It's important that uh, we continue to exchange ideas if we are to develop our country. I think it's important also that uh, the citizens, I mean, are given the platform to express themselves without any interference. So we're extremely excited, and we can only uh, promise that we'll have an exciting evening. How easy has it been for you to invite Professor Mumba, uh, whose voice has been very critical uh, to most African leaders as well as the world at large? And you are a politician, and most of the time, politicians. They feel, you know, inferior to hear critics. Well, we must all be open to critics. I think this is what we call positive criticism. And that is intended to improve all of us. I think we, every leader with their thought, should be able to take criticism and look at it with a positive mind. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You very Thank much. you very much. Oh, let's get a photo. Oh, yeah. The Eden University, the Eden University with the professor. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so uh, from wherever you are watching us, uh, right now you are live on Movie TV from uh, for those that are watching us across the borders of Zambia. Of course, uh, this is a live stream uh, coming from the airport here in Lusaka, Zambia, of course, where we are witnessing the arrival of uh, one uh, Professor Lumumba uh, from Kenya. Of course, uh, uh, we just arrived here and I scheduled to give a public lecture to tonight, which will be at uh, Tamilungushi International Conference Center here in uh, Lusaka. And I did uh, hear uh, some of uh, the, uh, uh, the remarks, of course, uh, brief remarks, according to him, that uh, he was he's unable to dance to the main uh, song uh, before he begins to dance. So, meaning that uh, he has a catalog of information uh, which is about to give to you, the people of Zambia, and uh, those that are watching us across the borders of uh, Zambia, ensure that uh, you uh, witness that, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, discussion that uh, Professor Lumumba will be uh, uh, giving to, uh, to, to you. And uh, something very important was a congratulatory message that he has uh, finally given to President Hagen de Hichlema, who was uh, recently elected as uh, Zambia's uh, seventh Republican uh, president. And uh, also he briefly talked about the issue to deal with uh, how uh, of course, Zambia's uh, democracy, uh, according to him, uh, is slowly uh, growing because uh, Zambians really, uh, you the people of Zambia, you demonstrated uh, that uh, you can go to the polls and cast your votes without any uh, difficulties or without any uh, forms of fights. I know that, of course, that's one subject of a debate. Of course, there were some uh, 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 pockets of political violence, but indeed that uh, did not stop you from uh, electing a new administration of uh, the UPND alliance uh, uh, government and also did uh, go further a little bit talk about 
the issues to deal with the borders that uh, according to him these borders have been imposed on us as Africans and uh, for him he's been very consistent that we need to remove these borders because they are hindering you and I are uh, you being a Kenyan if you are you are South Africans as well as maybe a Malawian be it Zimbabwe we should be able to move from one place to another without any form of uh, restrictions be it passports be it visas and the likes Professor Lumumba or Pio Lumumba as he is fondly known as uh, known uh, is discouraging all those all those things and uh, let's find out if at all the, his agenda is going to be achieved anytime uh, soon so these are live uh, pictures uh, live coverage from here at uh, the airport uh, in Lusaka Zambia so remember that you keep on watching movie television uh, because we keep on updating you and uh, even when the public lecture begins uh, today or this evening we are going to ensure that uh, we give you uh, that uh, crossover and you listen to a full a catalog or a lecture uh, coming from uh, PL uh, Lumumba uh, here in uh, Zambia so thank you so much for watching uh, this uh, broadcast a brief arrival of uh, PL Lumumba uh, coming from Kenya my name is uh, Innocent Piri IP always allow me to say may God bless Zambia and may God bless you the entire Africa thank you so much Thank you very much for tuning in at DevTech Media. Remember, DevTech Media is the media that shares news, trending videos, political news, gospel music, as well as entertainment. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and that notification bell to be the very first person to receive the video that will be produced and posted by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you.